Hi everyone, it's Wendy again. <laughs> Putting up quite a few videos lately. Um, if you remember, I had my fall bundle haul from Country Craft Creations, and I said that the uh, five by seven cards, or six by eight, the six by eight cards, um, inspired were inspiring me to make a mini album. I made it. <laughs> I had to use a few sheets from the 12 by 12, but that's okay. I have enough to do a small album, not quite this big. Um, so I used craft card stock. I wrapped the spine. You see it has that thankful. I used all the chipboard pieces in this album. And I took an... Um, they had a whole bunch of words on the stickers, and I just laid them together right here on both the front and the back. Now on the inside, I kept the inside and back cover simple with this. Um, this is the first page. It folds out. And if you notice, this is what I used the chipboard pieces for, was to make... Um, I put one on there on to for the photos to go under. And then each page has a pocket and a large mat. Um, all four corners are photo punched. And as you can see on these mats, I just did a strip. Because I want the show to be the pictures, not the paper. On the, the back of this page and the last page, I did a staggered waterfall, I guess you'd call it. Um, and there's just three of them there. Then on this page, it flips up, and again, I have the chipboard pieces. So that repeats. So. And then I have a pocket back here, and each one of these has two mats. So I did three pages with this style, and then three pages with this style. And I etched them with um, a Martha Stewart punch called Vintage Doily. I thought it fit in because I had doilies in the paper line. And you see it, it's, and this um, staggered waterfall, I did a little different from the other one. Uh, this one is this way, and this one is this way. So I got one vertical, one horizontal. And then in the back, I just put this quote. So, just so you know, I have nothing left in here. <laughs> that is all. I have a few. I have some scraps in there that I saved um, because I plan on making another album, all the paper collection. But it's going to be smaller than this one. I think it's going to be like a six by six or four by five, something like that. But I have nothing. I have no full pages left. Um, it's. I just have scraps. So, um, like I said, I did this out of the full bundle that I received from Country Craft Creations, and it, I think it turned out really nice. So, that's my video for the day. I got a notion to make a Christmas one. I have to see about that one. And I'm working on some Valentine's stuff, and that, and... I can show you my prototypes. I have this, which um, I plan on. This is my prototype, so it's all written. <laughs> um, it's going to have candy in it. I can't decide if I want to make it shorter, which I may. I think I'm going to shorten it up a little bit. And there's going to be a latch. Whoops on the lid so that after they're done with the candy they can put whatever they want in there. I mean it'd be good for paper clips. 
or binder clips. That's why I think I'm going to make it a little shorter. And then um, I know there's oops, tons of mailbox patterns out there. And if you have an electronic cutting machine, they have a... But I wanted to make one without an electronic cutting machine. And I was working on mine, and I was having the darndest time trying to get this circle. I mean, it just wasn't working. And I happened to watch another uh, tutorial on someone else's page on YouTube, and they suggested doing a sliding box. I thought, aha, that solves my problem. <laughs> and mine is short and stout. <laughs> But the flag works. <laughs> Mine is short and stout. Um, and then when I get get them to the creating type, I might do a tutorial on them. I haven't decided yet. But that's what else I've been working on. So these are my prototypes. Who knows what else I'll create. So. There's the album I said I would make. I made it. Have a good night.